Welcome back to Vision Auto Garage. In today's episode, I have so much space, I can do a backflip. No, I can't. In today's episode, there's a change to my scheduled programming. The midget shell's outside the workshop, ready to be media blasted. Over the weekend, I was referred by a friend to a local mobile media blaster who's coming up this afternoon to blast the shell for me at a really good price. But before I do that, I need to strip down the doors. Taking a midget door apart is not very complicated, but it can be a bit tricky if you've got larger hands. Only basic tools are required. I've got a selection of Phillips head screwdrivers, a 3 8 a 7 16 and a half inch socket. Before doing anything else, I remove the wing mirror so as not to break it. Next, I use a number two Phillips head screwdriver to remove the window winder handle and door pull handle. The screws for the door pull are hidden under two plastic caps which are easily pried off. With the hardware removed, the door card is eased upwards. All but one of the spring clips released freely. The stuck clip required a little persuasion with the screwdriver. This near side door has seen better days and previous repairs have been substandard. It's likely that after media blasting, I'll choose to replace it rather than repair. Removing the inner workings of the door is best achieved by first undoing everything, giving plenty of movement for each of the components. The quarter light frame and window need to be eased out at the same time, so removing the winder mechanism first is essential. Once the winder mechanism is free, it can be folded on itself and withdrawn through the large aperture. It is quite a fiddle. The door handle removes easily, but the lock barrel is tricky. It's held in place by a spring clip with two tabs that need to be squeezed in as the barrel is pushed out. Rarely do these come out evenly. With the door fully stripped, here's a full list of the tools I used. A small flat bladed screwdriver for removing the wing mirror and general prying. Number one to three Phillips head screwdrivers. A ratchet and extension. A three eighths, seven sixteenth and half inch sockets. Three eighths and half inch open end and ratchet end spanners. A trim prying tool and a blade used to remove the plastic lugs for the wing mirror plinth. I'm sure like me, you're hoping to see some media blasting next. Unfortunately, there's been a change of plans and we've had to reschedule to tomorrow morning. That has, however, given me time to visit my local paint shop and pick up some of this Novol Protect 340 wash primer. This two-part primer and hardener will protect the bare metal straight after blasting. It's applied in a light, even coat all over the car and will protect it from any flash rust and also prolonged rust before it's in final paint. As usual, if you'd like any more information and photos on any of our projects, please check out the Facebook and Instagram accounts on the links below. Thanks for watching.